the bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Anomaly, the Hammerhead. clearly superior depth perception. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul.
As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Was to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Oh, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But, I just say it. Maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered rambling. Took my hand, all right. Get yourself ready, boy. Now we playing with power. She's catching her wind. Don't fire what's inevitable. Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! 
big enough to toss him now, eh? Can! Get that can! Dance him! Pick it to us! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The shark is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination.
No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. The gulf is filled with creatures both foreign and familiar. During Port Clovis's early days, City Fathers touted its natural beauty. But the shrimpers and oystermen who docked there were only interested in its many horrors.
is a driving force for the bullshit. delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. shark will eat just about anything. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam.
shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Creation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. Sponges demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout Costa Rica. But being brainless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their buying decisions. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks.
Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoyment of the ultra-rich, mega-rich, and super-rich. discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, enraged Porclovians threw it in the ocean. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. The underwater world is a fantasia, bustling with color and activity. Self-driving technology of Gazorpazor is not without its reliability concerns. As is the trend in other coastal towns, long stretches of Port Clovis's shoreline are now the exclusive domain of the wealthy. Sure, we could avoid catastrophic risks for future generations, but then we couldn't have 4x4 pickups with 5.7 liter V8 engines. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. believe that King Poseidon ruled the waters, whereas here at Prosperity Sands, they're ruled by luxury leisure groups international. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake.
the shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to Port Clovis. So distant future, a young visionary entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling and revolutionize after toilet care. The shark listens determinedly for the array. The peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and the a successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible.
Blah, blah, blah. Late stage capitalism. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine life. the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses.
justice for her heinous crimes, the shark is now the subject of a bounty. Your hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. That's no dolphin. chapters in the long troubled history of real shark relations. The battle is over, but the war goes on. dish, in spite of being one of the top five fish for potential mercury poisoning. Lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable.
moves confidently through her liquid element. Clovis considered removing these naval mines after the war, but the city had already spent its annual budget booking a Nickelback cover band for the 4th of July. Every summer, Port Clovis plays host to the Megasonic Electro Carnival, giving a real boost to the local MDMA industry. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bone. 